going to talk about chipping. And chipping is a shot that we describe as minimum air time, maximum roll. And we use that shot anytime we're very near the putting surface. As you can see, if this were smooth, I would probably choose my putter. We can chip with any golf club in our bag. In this particular case, I've chosen an eight iron. One of the struggles that we see with a lot of golfers is they try to hit this shot with too much loft. Maybe their sand wedge or maybe a 60 degree lofted golf club. That requires too big of a golf swing for this short of a shot. In order to have control over the golf shot, we want to have the ball on the ground as long as possible. So if I were to set up with this and get too wristy, you would see the golf ball travel too far and go across the green, not resulting in a very nice shot. The other one is if we end up with too much weight on our right foot or our back foot, that will give you the tendency to hit the ground and the golf ball doesn't get onto the green the distance that you liked. So to help you alleviate all those errors, we would like to have you start with the golf club pointed to your center section, feet very close together. We push the handle one to two inches forward. Both feet then go to the left. And as you can see, that's de-lofted the golf club. We de-loft the golf club and it also puts the golf ball toward the back of our stance to help ensure that we make solid ball contact first and not the turf. The grip is the same as any other golf swing that you would use. We generally like to grip down a little bit lower on the handle give us a little bit more control. It's firm wristed. The swing path is slightly inside square to straight through and a little bit of weight on the left side about 60 percent and we want a firm wristed shot and there you can see the golf ball snuggle up nicely against the flag stick with a nice little tap in putt.